And then uh, I just calculated today that uh, in fact, uh, uh, 3i Atlas gets near Jupiter on um, March 16th, 2026, uh, at a distance which is exactly identical to um, the distance inside of which uh, Jupiter's gravity dominates over the Sun's gravity. And this coincidence is to within uh, one part in 26,000. Quite amazing, it's remarkably exactly the, the right distance for Jupiter's gravity to dominate when 3 Atlas comes closest to it. And in fact, the non-gravitational acceleration that was reported after it came closest to the Sun, there was some push that uh, was noticed in its trajectory, some slight deviation from the original path is needed in order to bring it exactly to that location. So by now I have even more puzzles and uh, the fact that NASA ignores the anomalies that Rhea Atlas had, meaning the, the very small likelihood that it lies in the plane of the planets around the sun and its very large size, a million times more massive object than the first interstellar object, you know, that obviously allows them to make a, a very confident statement that it's a comet, but I'm still very intrigued by these anomalies. Astronomers have been tracking 3I Atlas as it moves deeper into the solar system, but recent trajectory updates have revealed an unexpected development. The interstellar object is heading directly toward Jupiter's vast gravitational domain. This is not a simple flyby. The path of 3I Atlas is steering it toward the outermost edge of Jupiter's influence, a boundary defined with extraordinary mathematical precision. Jupiter's gravitational reach is immense, forming a massive invisible sphere around the planet where its pole can rival the sun's. Most objects passing through the solar system never come close to this frontier, yet 3I Atlas is on course to skim directly along this gravitational threshold, an alignment so precise that the odds of it occurring naturally are extremely small. Instead of veering wide or plunging inward, the object is approaching the razor-thin boundary where Jupiter's gravity stops dominating and the sun takes over. Reaching this region requires an accuracy far beyond what is typically produced by natural comet behavior, especially for an object arriving from interstellar space. The result is a trajectory that appears almost engineered in its precision. As the encounter approaches, the central question grows more compelling. Why is 3I Atlas converging so precisely on Jupiter's gravitational frontier, and what will this alignment reveal when the object finally arrives? Jupiter's gravitational frontier has always stood as one of the largest and most powerful structures carved out in our solar system. The planet's mass, more than 300 times that of Earth, extends its influence far into space, creating a protective barrier that has shaped the evolution of the solar system for billions of years. The region around Jupiter, where its gravity dominates over the suns, is known as the Hill Sphere, and it sprawls across tens of millions of miles. It is here, along the outer boundary of that sphere where 3I Atlas is projected to pass. What makes this moment so remarkable is not simply the approach itself, but the staggering precision with which the object appears to be matching the hill radius, a line that is defined by mathematical relationships between planetary mass, stellar gravity, and orbital distance. It is not a point an object typically aims for, it is a subtle transition zone created by the balance of enormous cosmic forces. Even among comets and asteroids native to our solar system, hitting the hill boundary with such accuracy would be unusual. Most objects either plunge deeper into Jupiter's gravitational well, slingshotting around the planet, or remain far outside its reach entirely. Touching the boundary itself is akin to threading a cosmic needle, where the difference between entering the sphere or missing it completely may be measured in mere fractions of a percent, across distances greater than the space between Earth and Mars. For an interstellar object, whose approach is influenced by countless interactions over millions or billions of years of travel, this kind of precision is rare to the point of being astonishing. 
For the date of the encounter, that distance is estimated to be roughly 33.24 million miles. According to observational data compiled from more than 230 telescopes and refined through NASA's JPL orbital models, 3I Atlas is expected to pass by at approximately 33.21 million miles. The difference, 35,000 miles, is remarkably tiny given the scale. Across a journey spanning 33 million miles, the object is arriving within a fraction of a percent of the one distance that separates Jupiter's gravitational grasp from the Sun's. This type of precision deserves scrutiny, not because it suggests anything unnatural on its own, but because it challenges assumptions about how interstellar objects should behave. When 3I Atlas swung around the Sun, astronomers detected something else unusual a measurable non-gravitational acceleration. This means the object changed its speed or direction in ways that cannot be attributed solely to gravitational forces. In typical comets, this effect is caused by jets of sublimating ices, outgassing, which produce small thrusts that add up as the comet approaches the sun. But natural outgassing has an almost chaotic character. Jets fire unpredictably, influenced by the comet's rotation, surface composition, and exposure to solar radiation. The resulting accelerations rarely line up in elegant or finely tuned directions. In the case of 3I Atlas, the magnitude of the acceleration detected was not outside the ordinary for a comet-like body. What was extraordinary was the direction. The shift caused by the non-gravitational acceleration nudged the object's trajectory by nearly exactly the amount required to align it with Jupiter's hill boundary. Without that acceleration, the object would have missed by a noticeably larger margin. With it, the object appears to be gliding toward the gravitational frontier with uncanny precision. This alignment has led to four possible interpretations, each carrying different scientific implications. The most conservative explanation is simple error. Orbital calculations rely on measurements made from Earth, and even with hundreds of observatories contributing data, uncertainties exist. If the early observations contained inaccuracies, or if the statistical model incorrectly weighted certain data, the predicted trajectory may be slightly skewed. But as more observations accumulate, those uncertainties shrink. Updated projections repeatedly confirm that the object will pass near the hill radius, even with error bars are considered. The match remains consistent, decreasing the likelihood that a miscalculation is responsible. A second explanation is that natural outgassing effects, while generally chaotic, can occasionally produce directional thrusts that create what appear to be precise outcomes. Comets often have jets that align with structural weaknesses or fractures, and some can fire repeatedly as the object rotates, creating a kind of rhythmic propulsion. If three I Atlas had a set of jets that happened to activate in specific orientations, they could have produced the necessary adjustment. Yet this scenario requires a chain of coincidences. The jets would need to fire at the right moments, in the right orientation, and with the right magnitude to guide the object by exactly the amount required to match Jupiter's gravitational boundary. The statistical probability of such a natural chain of events remains low. The third possibility is that this is a cosmic coincidence. Over the age of the solar system, countless interstellar objects must have passed through undetected. Even if only a tiny fraction of them skimmed Jupiter's hill sphere with similar precision, the chances are not zero. From this perspective, 3I Atlas is a rare but natural example of how cosmic dynamics can produce unexpected alignments. However, this explanation acknowledges the rarity of the event and underscores why the object is scientifically important. Rare events often carry new information about processes that are otherwise difficult to study. The fourth possibility is more speculative, that the object's trajectory reflects some form of deliberate adjustment or inherent control mechanism. This does not imply that 3I Atlas is artificial, but it raises questions about whether its structure or composition interacts with gravity or radiation in unconventional ways. Some researchers have suggested that advanced civilizations, if they exist, might use gravity wells like Jupiter's as navigation hubs, relying on minimal energy to maneuver through planetary systems. Approaching a giant planet's hill boundary would allow a spacecraft or probe to deploy smaller objects, enter temporary capture, or perform gravitational assists. While there is no direct evidence supporting a technological origin, the precise trajectory has encouraged scientific curiosity about whether interstellar objects could exhibit non-natural behaviors. The reason Jupiter matters so much in this context is that the planet offers unique advantages for any object traveling through a planetary system. Its gravity well is deep and wide, capable of bending trajectories dramatically. Space agencies on Earth Earth routinely use Jupiter for gravitational slingshot maneuvers. Accelerating spacecraft toward the outer planet serve even out of the solar system entirely. 
If an object were intentionally navigating through the solar system, whether natural or artificial, Jupiter would be an obvious waypoint. Moreover, near the edge of the Hill Sphere lie equilibrium points, where gravitational forces from Jupiter and the Sun nearly cancel each other out. These regions require minimal energy to maintain position, and can act as stable resting points for debris, spacecraft, or probes. Even in a natural context, an interstellar object passing through this region could experience unusual gravitational interactions, fragmentations, or temporary captures. Observing how 3i Atlas behaves during its encounter will provide new insight into how interstellar bodies respond to complex gravitational environments. As the object approaches Jupiter in March 2026, astronomers will monitor its motion with increasing precision. Small deviations from the projected path may indicate ongoing non-gravitational forces, shedding light on the internal structure of the object. If outgassing continues, changes in brightness may reveal fresh jets of material or surface activity. High-resolution imaging could detect fragmentation, either from natural stress or tidal forces as the object skirts the boundary between Jupiter's gravity and the Sun's. In the unlikely event that 3i Atlas releases smaller bodies or enters temporary capture around Jupiter, instruments would record a level of detail never before obtained from an interstellar visitor. The scientific value of this encounter cannot be overstated. Interstellar objects provide a rare opportunity to study the composition of material formed around other stars. They can reveal how planetary systems beyond our own evolve and how objects travel between stellar neighborhoods. The behavior of 3i Atlas near Jupiter will help refine models of gravitational interactions cometary physics, and orbital dynamics. It may even illuminate new mechanisms for explaining anomalies observed in past interstellar objects, such as the non-gravitational acceleration seen in 1i Oumuamua. The broader implications touch multiple disciplines. Planetary scientists will gain a better understanding of how Jupiter influences passing objects, which has relevance for theories of solar system formation and the distribution of materials in early planetary disks. Astrobiologists may draw insights about how material from distant star systems can migrate into new environments, potentially carrying the building blocks of life across vast cosmic distances. Researchers focused on propulsion and navigation may learn new principles from the subtle forces shaping the trajectory of 3i Atlas, information that could help design future missions that rely on gravitational assists or solar radiation pressure. What makes this moment particularly compelling is that it represents a convergence of rarity and precision. Interstellar objects are already uncommon, and observing one interact with a giant planet's gravitational domain is a once-in-a-century opportunity. Observing it do so with this level of accuracy adds an element of mystery that invites rigorous investigation. Even if the ultimate explanation is purely natural, the encounter will refine humanity's understanding of celestial mechanics in a way that no simulation or laboratory experiment could duplicate. As the date approaches, telescopes across the world will train their lenses on a small, faint object drifting silently through the darkness, its path fixed on an invisible boundary that circles the solar system's giant. No one can say with certainty what the final approach will reveal. It may pass quietly through the Hill Sphere, offering only subtle clues about its internal structure. It may display unexpected physical behavior that challenges existing theories of comet dynamics. Or it may produce something entirely unforeseen, altering our understanding of how interstellar objects interact with the complex gravitational landscapes of planetary systems. Whatever happens, the passage of 3i Atlas near Jupiter will mark a milestone in astronomy. In the long timeline of the solar system, this event will last only moments, a brief encounter between a wandering interstellar traveler and the largest planet orbiting our sun. Yet in that moment lies the potential to uncover new truths about the universe, the forces to shape it, and the mysterious visitors that occasionally drift into our cosmic neighborhood. As observers on a distant world, humanity waits to see what secrets this approaching object will unveil as it grazes the frontier of Jupiter's gravitational dominion.